Today I'm going to be playing Link the Players, which is a game that gives you two footballers and you have to link them together by naming a player who's played with both of them at club level. I'm going to attempt to get the best possible streak. Currently, the only streak I have is the one down the side of my toilet, courtesy of last night's Taco Bell. I haven't played Link the Players in around a year. My longest streak is 22. Well, it's actually seven and a half inches down the side of my toilet bowl. Okay, I've got to stop with that. Enough. But one thing I noticed today is there is a difficulty called Mental, where there is only one or two possible links. So we are going to be playing on that difficulty. Let us begin. The first duo of players is Kai Havertz and Fabinho which makes me ask, did somebody go from Monaco to Chelsea? Or did someone go from Liverpool? He is at Al Itahad. That is the one that Conte plays for. And Golo Conte will work for this. Al Itahad and Chelsea. That is correct. How many possible answers are there? He is the only one, so I'm glad I thought of that. Could have got stuck thinking of like players who played that one game for Real Madrid with Fabinho in 2013. Then we've got Andy Robertson, Sergio Ramos. That is going to be Genie Vinaldum at Liverpool and PSG. Fabinho, he played that one game with Sergio Ramos in 2012-13. Next pair is Fede Valverde and Paul Pogba. Rafael Varane, Casemiro. Those are the two that would work. Not Casemiro, what am I saying? He joined after Pogba left. It is literally only Rafael Varane. Then we've got Declan Rice and Lionel Messi, two greats of the modern game. Is it our West Ham PSG? There's Tilo Kehrer, who would have played with Messi, I think. He would have played with Messi in 2021-22. to 22. Yep. Again, the only possible one. I am smashing this so far. Ruben Dias, Paul Pogba. This is where it's going to get tough. Danilo didn't play with Ruben Dias at City. So I'm thinking Benfica, Manchester United. Would have been too young to play with Nemanja Matic. Is there a Juventus in Man City? There's like Morata, Tevez, but he was at Man City earlier in life. Okay, this is where I have to lock in, get the brain exercising. Pogba, Ruben Dias, Lindelof. Did Ruben Dias get a game in 2016-17? I would say he did. Two years later, he was a guaranteed starter for Portugal. That is correct. And that is one of two answers. Gabriel Perez. Never heard of him. But he would have been at Juventus in two... Oh, that's the Gabriel, the central midfielder. I know exactly who that is. Played for Leganes, I think. So that's the only other one. Never would have thought him. I had no clue he was at Juventus. Gabriel Jesus, Marco Royce, Ilkay Gundogan every day of the week. Holland and Frank Kessi. So Man City, AC Milan. Are there any? Yeah, Barca Man City, surely. Or Barca Dortmund. Aubameyang, no. Dembele, no. Who am I missing that played for Barca and Dortmund? I know I'm on the right track with that. Al Ali is the one with Firmino. Mares. Mares. Right? Mares plays for the same Saudi club. Yes, we got it. Thank goodness. That's the only possible answer. There's nothing in Europe to link the two of them. Now we get Kessie and Valverde. Brahim Diaz. Trent Alexander-Arnold. Marco Royce. That'd be Emre Chan. Liverpool Dortmund. Surprise Klopp doesn't really go for the Dortmund players. David Alaba. Bernardo Silva. Didn't play with Cancelo. Leroy Sané did play with Alaba for one season. Sané! Lautaro and Vinny. Real and Inter. And Hakimi missed Vinny by one season. He was out on loan at Dortmund. They both signed for their clubs at the same time and have never left. I don't think there's a player who played for Racing Club and Flamengo. If there is, this game has fully got me on stitches. I've been here for like five minutes trying to think of this. I'm going to try Carlos Augusto. Maybe played for Flamengo. He didn't. What is the only answer? Alejandro Donati. <laughs> who, who is this man? He played at Racing Club and Flamengo. Well, I was never going to get that. Brilliant. Virgil van Dijk and Lautaro Martinez to restart life back at zero. Liverpool, Inter Milan. Victor Moses. 
Was it Liverpool pre-Van Dyke? Southampton to Inter. Cedric. It's Cedric. It is Cedric. He went on loan to Inter in the second half of 2018-19. That's a brilliant one. That is a brilliant one. And that is the only possible one. Valverde, Gabriel Jesus, Brahim Diaz, the ultimate link between City and Real. Front Kessie. Jude Bellingham. Brahim Diaz yet again. Ah, you're not going to fool me twice with Alejandro Donati. You're not going to fool me twice. Wherever that man plays these days, his teammates must be sick to death of hearing the stories of how he played with both Lautaro and Vinicius. Van Dijk and Sancho. Emre Chan does the job. Bernardo and Valverde. Brahim Diaz. You utter, utter legend. This is a bit of a different one. Christian Pulisic and Harry Kane. Oh, did someone from Leicester in 2012-13 go to Chelsea? Did Danny Drinkwater ever get a game with Christian Pulisic? Because he played at Leicester City with Kane. He was owned by Chelsea, and he was in the under-21s. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it in the search bar until I think maybe of a Bayern Munich player. Oh, there's gotta be an ex-Dortmund player. Rafael Guerrero. That is it. That is it. He played at Dortmund with Pulisic. Bayern Munich with Kane. And Danny Drinkwater would have actually worked. We have David Luiz and Joshua Kimmich. PSG Bayern Munich that isn't Kingsley Coman because David Luiz arrived later. PSG to Bayern. They do a fair amount of business. Lucas Hernandez. Renato Sange. Coleman. Oh, did Rudiger play in Stuttgart with Kimmich? Kimmich was in the academy at Stuttgart with Rudiger. Would be a good one. Timo Werner didn't play with Luiz. However, he was at Stuttgart and Leipzig as well. But I don't even think he played with Kimmich at either. I can't think of it. I'm gonna try Kingsley Coman. Just on the off chance he played like a preseason with Luiz in 2014. Vidal. Oh, at Flamengo. Totally evaded me. Totally evaded me. Fair play, though. I've changed the difficulty to hard, which is one to three links, just so we get a few more options in there. I keep getting repeats of the same players or the same clubs. But with three possible links, we'll hopefully see some new faces. This will be my last attempt at breaking our streak record of 22. Today's record is 10. We have Havertz and Lautaro Martinez, which would be Inter Milan and Chelsea. Lukaku. Fede Valverde and Declan Rice. Odegaard did play with him in the first half of 2020 to 21. Then we have Vinny Jr. and Ruben Dias. Benfica, surely. Or someone maybe went from Flamengo to Benfica, which is just a bit crazy. Benfica, Real Madrid. Luka Jovic. He was Ein Oh no, he would have played at some point with Ruben Dias. Him and Julio Cesar. Donnarumma. And Gundogan is... Can we think of a non-Brahim Diaz? Don't think we can. Have to take what we can get in this day and age. Courtois. Trent Alexander-Arnold. Solanke. Very crucial Chelsea to Liverpool link. Mbappe and Rice. I went for Carer. Let's go Areola. Because Rice famously said... Lautaro and Gundogan is Perisic, Sterling, Kimmich, Cancelo, Gundogan, Valverde, oh, Brahim, I'm sorry fella, you are getting used like there's no tomorrow here. Brahim Diaz is the meta. If it's Man City, Real Madrid, or Milan is two of the clubs, you just know Brahim Diaz's name is popping up. Jesus and Mohamed Salah. De Bruyne, Chelsea, barely with Salah, and then at City with Jesus. The streak currently is 10, which is the joint best streak I've got today. We move. Bruno Fernandes and Sterling. Manchester United to Chelsea isn't the craziest. A reverse Mason Mount. Or Mason Mount himself. He just has played with both. I was going off the basis Sterling signed last summer. But we have broken the best streak today, so we've got 11. Thiago Laurie and Sebastian Coates, both at Sporting. Nice. Robbo and Ziyech. Hull City to Chelsea. Tomori. Tomori didn't play with Robertson before I make that error. He was at Hull City the next season. 
Jurgen Klopp doesn't strike me as a man to go shopping at the hottest place in town like Ajax in 2019, where the players have realistically only had one season on the big stage. I've been thinking about this for a few minutes, and there's nobody coming to mind. I'm going to try Henriksen because he played at Hull, and I think he was in the Netherlands at some point. That is incorrect. I don't want to just have five guesses. Yeah, so that's a bit cheap, so we're going to give up. Graven Birch! Did not think that one through. Completely forgot about him. 11 was the best streak that we got in today's video. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, drop a like on the video and subscribe if you would like to see more football trivia content. I'll see you next time.